welcome to Eki Now with Melly Mel. I'm Melissa. Today I'm bringing you a Harry Potter merch haul. These are items that I acquired recently. I'll be showing you pins, a Funko Pop, and a shirt. So let's get started. So the first item we have right here, I purchased through the Harry Potter fan club. When you go to purchase an item through the Harry Potter fan club website, it takes you directly to the harrypottershop.com website. Now, before May 19th, if you were in the US, the merchandise was shipped to you from the Harry Potter New York store. So the items came from the US, but I wanna say that after May 19th, all the items that get shipped to the US now come from the UK. So this little box right here took about two weeks to get to me here in New Jersey. And of course, shipping was a little bit more. When I had purchased items from the website before and they were coming from New York to me, shipping was a lot cheaper and it got here a lot quicker, but I guess I can't really complain if I really want my Harry Potter items, but I'm super excited to have this here now. And as you can see, the packaging tape says platform nine and three quarters, which I think is so cool. So as you might have noticed, I pre-caught the box and I am very excited to take out the contents and show you guys. The first item we have right here is something that I originally intended to get over at the Harry Potter New York store. Yes, I went there earlier this month, well, earlier in June. And I'm actually going to link my haul video right here from the Harry Potter New York store so you can see everything that I got. But going back to what I was saying, I originally wanted to get this item right here at this store, but by the time I was able to go into the store, a lot of the sizes were already sold out and some merchandise was already sold out. And the size that I was looking for for this specific shirt was not available. But uh, I really wanted this shirt, so I went ahead and I bought it through the website. This shirt right here is actually for the Tri Wizard Cup. As you can see, I purchased the Ravenclaw one. It has the Hogwarts crest right over here. And as far as sizing goes, I am typically in between a medium and a large, but I wanted to make sure that this shirt was loose because I honestly don't like tight fitting clothes. I like to be comfortable. So I wanted this to be loose. So I ended up getting this in a size large. As you can see, it's pretty big, but I'm actually pretty curious to see the fit. So I will be trying this on shortly and I will show you guys what it looks like. But something that I really like about this shirt is that you can personalize your shirt at no extra cost. Now the price on here is in pounds. So it's 35.95 pounds so i believe in us dollars it was about 40 dollars when i went to the store in new york and the price includes the personalization now i did want to let you know that when it comes to the personalization it's up to nine characters <laughs> so my last name has more than nine characters so i couldn't go with my last name but instead i went with this so i decided to have melly mel be put on the back of my shirt I thought that that was a cool way to personalize my shirt anyway. Just to let you know too, these letters are not sewn. It looks like these are heat pressed. They're um, heated and pressed into the shirt or glued into the shirt. They are not sewn. So that is something to uh, consider when you go and wash your shirt. So I'm gonna have to be really careful with this. But again, this is a super cute shirt and um, let me go and try it on. All right, so I am back. As you can see, it is a little big. <laughs> the sleeves are long and it's definitely big, but I can definitely just make this my own. Maybe roll up the sleeves a little bit and just wear this with some like leggings or jeggings. And I still think it's really cute. And I love that the neck right here is pretty high and it just doesn't like kind of like droop down or anything. So I, I really like this. I think the fit is really nice. and. For $40, I just can't really complain. It's really soft and I really love that. It has my name on the back. All right, so moving on to the next item. So the next item that I got is actually a pin. This pin came out recently, also during the month of June. And um, this is so pretty. This is the Hogwarts Crest 
pin. Now, this pin is actually not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. And the price for that pin was actually 12 and 95 pounds but if you are a gold member of the fan club it was about 10 36 again that is in pounds so honestly yeah not bad i thought this pin was actually going to be a lot more let me take it out of the back of your car so i can show you a closer look i love that you can see all of the houses on the crest and i love that they actually use a blue and bronze for ravenclaw And here's the back of the pin and we see that on the back we have the flying keys okay so since we were talking about pins i might as well continue talking about pins so the next thing i'm going to show you i actually have two pins right here these are what people in the disney pin community would call a fantasy pin these are fantasy pins so these are pins that were created by an independent artist and these are not licensed by warner brothers so that's why in the Disney pin community, they call them fantasy pins. So I don't know if in the Harry Potter pin community, they call it fantasy pins as well, but I call them fantasy pins. I'm going to be showing you two pins from Funky Punky Designs. This is a small shop that I found on Etsy, but they also have an Instagram page and uh, it's super cute. They added a little card here that says, thank you, Melissa. I hope you love your pins. And uh, I think that's a really cute touch, but these pins I actually ordered a while back. I had honestly forgotten that I had ordered them because they were on back order. And um, they are absolutely beautiful. And I honestly don't know which pin to show you first because they are just so pretty. So I guess I'm gonna start with this one. It is absolutely beautiful. You can see the Hogwarts castle on there. Oh my gosh, let me show you. And here we have a closer look. Isn't this gorgeous? I absolutely love it. And here's the back of the pin. Nothing really on it, it's just gold. We have two pin posts on the back. And I just felt like I had to show the front of this pin one more time. Funky Punky Designs has actually four variants of this pin, one for each house. This is the Ravenclaw one. As you can see, uh, the Hogwarts castle is inside a wreath, or there's a wreath around the castle if you want to look at it that way. This is such a pretty pin totally worth the wait and this is the second pin that i got from funky punky designs and here we have a closer look this mirror resembles the mirror of erised both this pin and the one that i just showed you with the hogwarts castle i believe are 11 dollars 89 there are a few variants of this pin you can get it with glitter or not with glitter and then i picked out this one in like the teal color for like the background but there's also a purple version of that and here you can appreciate the glitter a little bit better and again this is the back of the pin so again i am super happy to get these pins because honestly i did not have any mirror of airy side pins and i think this design is beautiful and this one is super cute too this one actually makes me think of christmas so i'm super excited for christmas too even though halloween is not even here yet <laughs> but i'm excited for christmas i'm actually side note i'm actually really wanting to do a harry potter themed christmas tree this year so let's see how that goes but going back to the pins these are amazing so definitely check her out funky punky designs on instagram and also on etsy now i also wanted to say something real quick about fantasy pins one of the reasons why pin collectors such as myself would want to get fantasy pins is not only to support a small shop but also because these independent artists tend to bring us designs that typically we wouldn't be able to get if we were just waiting on a licensed pin to come out with a certain design so these independent creators or artists are able to bring beautiful ideas to life that otherwise without them we would not have so thank you you fantasy pins creators out there for everything you do for pin collectors like myself because you bring beautiful designs to life and last but definitely not least the last item i am going to show you is actually a funko pop this is a Funko Pop that I pre-ordered through Walmart back in January. I believe it was towards the end of January. And I just got this. It's one of those things that I kind of forget I ordered. <laughs> and then they show up six months later and I'm like, oh, that's right. I had ordered that. Now, uh, before I show you the item, 
I was a little scared about what conditions this was going to be in because Walmart, if you are listening, you need to do better with your packaging. They sent me this pop in a bubble mailer. So like in an envelope, like a padded envelope, which is a big no-no. It should be in a sorter box inside another box right protect it because these are not just toys these are collectibles so when i saw that bubble mailer i was like oh no but luckily my pop was okay the box was a little open but i was able to fix that no big deal but walmart if you're listening you need to do better with packaging <laughs> but here is the pop that i ordered this is professor lupin's patronus i think this is so stinking cute i absolutely love it the retail price for this was $12.95. As of the time I am filming this video, it is out of stock on Walmart's website. I don't know if they would restock, but it is so cute. And as usual, we're going to open our pop from the bottom. <laughs> and um, we're just gonna take them out so I can show you guys a closer look. Now, how cute is this? Oh my goodness. This is actually my first Patronus pop. So I decided to put my Patronus right there between Molly and Hagrid. I am really looking forward to growing my Harry Potter Funko Pop collection and pin collection. So I'm really excited to see what else I get in the coming months. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about my merch haul, what you thought about the Triwizard shirt. Do you think you'd be getting this shirt in your house colors? Also, let me know what you thought about the pins and of course the pop. And as usual, if you love the things that I talk about, definitely subscribe, comment, like, and hit that notification bell so that you can keep waking out with me. Bye.